Okay, hi everyone. Um, we're going to do some work influenced by the Japanese artist Yeo Kusama. And um, as you said, as I said on the previous film, Yayo uses lots and lots of circles, bright, bright circles, because she hallucinates and um, she, she struggles living in the real world. And she lives a lot of the time in a mental hospital, but also she has a studio in her home, which is near her hospital. And she makes lots and lots of artwork to help her feel good. So we're going to do some work using circles. Okay, so here's Yayo in one of the rooms that she's created. So she's got spots on the walls. She's made really, really strange. Maybe things look a bit like um, things you might find in the sea or they might look a bit like trees. And she's wearing an amazing dress with great big white spots on. So she likes making all sorts of things with spots. So there's this one here and this one. She's made a whole environment, a whole room that people are walking around with lots and lots and lots of different colour spots. Again, some big, big spots and some smaller spots on the ceiling, on the floor, on the walls, on all the furniture. So she really does love spots. And then this one is one of her paintings. And her paintings has got some big, big spots and then she's done lots and lots of different ones. And it makes a really nice sort of pattern. So she plays around with pattern and all the circles and the colours. So we're going to have a go at making some of these sensory balls. And as you can see, she's got a really cool hairdo. So, so what we're going to do today is we're going to make some sensory balls. So a 3D circle is called a sphere. And we're going to make these sensory balls. And when you've made them, you can play games with them or you can use them just to feel. You can roll them around your body. We're going to use different materials. So I've got some plastic, some bubble wrap. OK, I've got some different materials, different materials here. Some, you can find some different textures to feel. So you might like different things. You can have a go. And I've got some wool. And I'm going to start off with newspaper. OK, so to start off, we're just going to make a newspaper board. So we're going to scrunch up with some newspaper. You might need some help doing this, but hopefully you can do it on your own. You can just use one, so your ball will be quite small. Or you can add more newspaper to make it bigger. OK, so we're going to wrap up newspaper and we're going to put a bit of tape on just to secure it down. Okay, so a bit of tape just to secure it down. And then we're going to find some different things that you might like. Okay, so we've got some wool, we've got some plastic, bubble wrap, that's always nice. We've got some felt, that's nice and soft, and some other fabric to wrap around to make our sensory balls, okay. So, one of the really nice things about this, we can play a game if you get a friend and you can rip bits of fabric. If you listen to this, have a good listen. Oh, that's a really nice sound. Should we do it again? Ready? Yay! Yeah, hey, and once more. Well, hey! So, you can start wrapping these around. In fact, you might need to have some help. You might need some help to tie them together. And then you're going to start wrapping them around to create the ball. So if I, if I tie three together, wrap them round, and then we're going to start making our sensory ball. So here we go. So just wrap it round. Wrap it round. And then you'll need someone to help you tie it up again. And then we could use something else. We could use some bubble wrap or some string. So maybe we'll wrap some string round. Woo! And you can feel how, how does that feel going round your hand or your wrist or your foot and have a feel of it in your, on your cheek. So all these things feel really different. So we can, we can wrap some of the, the string round and then we're going to add some of the felt, we can tie some of the felt rounds. And then last but not least, you can put some bubble wrap rounds. Give it a tie. The knots are quite difficult, so you might need some help with these. But you can choose all things. So that's so far. And then you can have a go at wrapping some bubble wrap. So you've got a nice sensory ball. Here we go. So you can make them and you can stick that down with tape. So you can make them as small or as big as you like, and you can play games with them. You can make lots of different colours. You can, 
you can share them, you can do all sorts of different things with them and just play around with that and you can put them in different places, you could play ga different games with them and um, share them with your friends. Here's my balls! <laughs> Have fun!